I don't know jumper. That's what they supposed to do. Make this shit look like this, so you can't get mad at them for doing their job. I'm not mad at him. Yeah, fact. You Respectfully, to f- mad that, at me. I, yeah, I'm nigga. I, you come from Chicago. Right. I'm from Baltimore. Fact. You getting on this platform saying some shit like that, trolling or not? I'm like, bro, why are we even doing that? Mm-hmm. When you know, when you know what you with, like, bro, you got more to lose than Anybody. all these other. Yeah, and that's the that's where I'm coming from. Like, I ain't mean to get into like f- these cameras and shit, bro. Like, you really like. You really one of them, bro. You come from Chicago. Like, we right. know what the f come from there. You get what I'm saying? We know what happens in there for real. Right. Like, these entertainment shit, like, that shit is one thing for likes. You get what I'm saying? So, when I look at it, like, I ain't gonna lie, that shit, like, it got me feeling the way right now because I'm looking at it, like, that shit is, 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 is hurtful because, like, you really got a future. You feel me? And, like, I know, like, I understand you trolling, but, like, we see what's happening in, in jail, like, right now, it's getting life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to like preach and shit like that, but it's like my mind. I'm like, what's going through your mind? Like, like what's what's happening in that moment? Ah, right, you trying to get straight to the point? I'm gonna give it to you like this. In Chicago, gang, you ain't never you. It's, it happened before, but you ain't never heard no more. Oh, they got a Rico off rap. Never heard of no dumb shit like that. So if they decide that they want to start giving me a Rico, the first one, just make it make sense. I don't know how, but just make it make sense. So mm-hmm. I feel like I can do whatever the fuck I want to do, say whatever the fuck I want to say. What's pop? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We in the building. Special guest to my left, straight out of West Side, Chicago. Duh, dummy. My God, no, Vaughn. No. What did you say? I used to say that in Chicago back in the day. Duh, dummy. Nah, that's some Baltimore shit. That's why I asked you that. We say dummy. Y'all do? Yeah. But now I'm doing the rack, though. Know, like back in the day, like, how did they say something for all? Like, they're just, like, just on some cool shit. Like, duh, dummy. Nah, so we, it ain't like a duh. We just say dummy. Like, it's a it's a term of endearment. Like, yo, a nigga will pull up to you, like, yo, what up, dummy? Yeah. See, I'm old though. Like you, I'm like probably like ten plus years older than you. No, you're not, bro. You're not that. Bro, you like twenty. Fuck, you like seventeen. I'm twenty one. I just turned twenty one. Seventeen, twenty one, sixteen. Shell the same. No, nah, hell no, nah, it's not. No, the fuck is not. It's damn near nowadays. No, not the lifestyle we live. Hell no. Nah. When you were sixteen, you can run wild. Seventeen, gotta slow down. Eighteen, you can go to that county. Gotta slow down. Okay. Okay. Nineteen, slow down. But you can still be doing what you're doing. Twenty. You got one more year till you gotta get on your shit to be a grown man at 21. Can't be doing that little boy shit no more. You grown as hell. Nah, that's a fact. I feel like, I mean, shit, Chicago, Baltimore, Philly, uh, it's a couple other cities. It's not too many like us, but I feel like even when you young, you get, they get niggas grown up time. No, nah, not in Chicago. No? No, nah, I don't know. A couple niggas that got like grown man sentences. Like when they was what age? Probably like sep sixteen. No, nah, I ain't. We never. That's shit unheard of in Chicago. For real? Yeah, you can get like juvenile life and shit and until you're twenty one. Yeah. You think that's why so many people be on just going crazy? Now some niggas don't really know. Some juveniles don't really know about like shit like that. Cause I ain't know that when I was a juvenile. Mm. If I would knew that when I was a juvenile, no telling what the fuck I would have did. Y'all niggas is crazy, man. I just know I'm finna get juvenile life. Yo, when you when you first. Jumped out the porch, right? You want to get into the music and shit. I see you. You, you got a lot of motion right now. Mm-hmm. You was stealing cars at a point. Yeah. When it go from stealing cars to like sliding? That's the, that shit go hand in hand. You can't have can't slide without a stolen car. But I'm I'm saying far as like just your choice of BS for for lack of better words, criminal activity. Like you saying, like what's making me get on that, basically. Yeah, like when did it change or why? Like what what made you change? People dying. That's it. That's it. That's all. The wrong person dying. Mm. Rules and family, friends. That's really it. I only ask that because, like, bro, from all the interviews, the research I said I, I did, you um, it seemed like you were a smart young man. Yeah, I was smart. Everybody on the internet think I'm just so dumb though. Like I don't really. The total opposite of what they say on the internet. That should be funny as you hell. You can't though. tell me. So you mean to tell me you don't know why people be saying I'm dumb? Yeah, come on. Now I be looking at them like they ass dumb from thinking I'm dumb. Shit, that's on y'all. Shit. But you, you, you can't picture no reason why they could say that. No, none at all. 
I can see, but then it's like some people don't got no brain. They ass don't think like oh shit. People stupid as hell. Mm. People believe anything they see on the internet. You play you think you play into it because it worked? No, this is just how I am. I this is how I act. So I don't be thinking like, oh, I'm finna come up with this and do this and make them think this. Mm. I just go with where it go and shit, shit, it fold out, half fold out. Yo, what do you think? What, what's so um different or, or, or what's so unique about Chicago? Like, cause I, I don't want to ask the same question everybody asks yeah, about asking. 1700, the West Side and South Side uh-huh, and shit like that. What's so different about Chicago? It's just, niggas just different. Mentality different, breeds different. Chicago niggas just different. You got some, Niggas that's different on different type of level. You got niggas on a different type of level, a level of dirty. You got niggas on a different type of level of stealing or killing or getting money, all type of shit. It's just these niggas just different. That's it. Chicago people just different. You will never know what a motherfucker got up their sleeve in Chicago. No, nah, facts. And you said you from the West Side, right? Yeah. 1700, right? Yeah. I feel like one thing that was universal for West Side across all nations is like West Side niggas. I'm from over West. Yeah. West Side niggas always was like fly niggas and get, get money, money niggas. Facts. Yeah. But I feel like in Chicago it changed a little bit. Hell, no, it changed in the, like in the middle, or like a certain point in time. Like at first it was Chief Keith and Lil Dirk and all them people and they was everybody thought Chicago was just the worst place of all time because they was glorifying the South Side and all they was known for was killing motherfuckers and gang banging like you don't see Chief keeping them back in the day talking about no money or shit or like having that shit. They look dirty as hell, ready to throw away their life and just so everybody thought it was the whole Chicago like that when deep down the reality on the west side is turned. But then as the years went, it switched. It went to the south side niggas being all about money and now the west side motherfuckers just wanna kill motherfuckers. Mm. Like that shit just numb as hell. But you still be in the trenches though. Yeah. For what? There ain't nothing like the trenches. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like we know where I don't gotta have this conversation. I don't gotta name everybody that that went back home and lost their life just from being home. Uh, five, nine times out of ten, I don't want to speak on nobody's situation. But every time somebody went back home, they did some dumb shit and did some shit like you know you don't supposed to be doing. Like you know, like you just gotta know how to move. Like that's what I be saying about people. Like people don't be using their head. When I go to the rack, I know how to move. Everything is all about knowing how to move and knowing what's going on. Niggas don't even be aware. Niggas be ready to die. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas be living life like they ready to die. Mm. So, you think the um the music influenced that though? Cause I mean, we can't ignore like the drill music that we listening to that you making. Yeah, that shit sound good, but a lot of that shit be beef oriented. It be mm. a lot of like. Violence in it, and it's like I mean, shit. If a nigga talk about your eyes, then we gotta be about that, right? Yeah. Uh, I said the music gave it a boost, but people been wanting to hurt people before the songs came out. The songs just make you want to go hurt a motherfucker even more. So, mm. what did that gave come it from? a little boost though? Like the the, the shit you got into, we don't gotta like talk about who, mm-hmm. where. I don't really care about that. But far as the beef that you seen yourself get into coming up, right? Mm. Where do you think it came from? Because shit, this shit go ball, this shit go back way yeah. further than you. I was just gonna say I ain't never seen myself as I'm like, oh, I'm getting myself into some beef. It was like, shit, I'm in the beef. Shit, like I ain't like, oh, I'm like it's taking steps to getting into beef. Like when you getting into it, like damn, you had to do something to these niggas, and now these niggas they got mad, and now you in some in the middle of some shit. It was like we was like forced to like you gotta be in this shit. I ain't no breaking down the situation and see like how can we not be into it with these niggas or you know it's like we gotta be into it with these niggas like people just be killing the wrong people that's just it's it. almost like it's in- inherited yeah, like you're fact. born into it yeah it's like a cycle basically shit so you're 21 bro you, like, you're you a man at this point fact we can have a grown man conversation facts at what point in time is it like man this shit is dumb. I'm tired of this shit. I we been knew it was done. Probably like my first time, like my second time going to jail. And I was like, I think I was 18 when I was the second time. And that's when I realized like this shit watered down. Like we've been watching the other motherfuckers before us and we think like, oh, we finna be just like that, 10 times better. And by the time we get ready to do it, this shit watered down. We can't even do it no more. It's not like back in the day. 
it's not how we thought it was. We got to do way more shit than they had to do back in the day. So it's like this shit really watered down, and you, we that shit, nigga, yeah, that shit done. Just like you just said, that shit done. So I hear that, right? Yeah. But you got booked for the last time that you talk about it was something serious. But this time you ain't even steal a car. You got caught uh, in a stolo. No, nah, the last time I got booked, I got booked like right before, like when the mister I was blowing up, but it wasn't for no crazy shit. Somebody but, else stole it, right? You was in the stolo. No, nah, that was that was the time before, right when I got out, then I got locked up right while I was like in okay. the middle of blowing up. What was the last what was the last one then? I got locked up in like April, like right before my birthday. What was that? Before for my me? brother's birthday. It was for some other silly shit. But I got right out though. And that's the one that really like no, nah, I've been I already knew what was going on. But the one you talking about, that was when I was I think I was nineteen. I was nineteen. Cause I feel like you was on wax saying like that was the one that made you open your eyes. Yeah. But we here, we gotta talk some real nigga shit, some real man to man shit. Oh well shit. Uh cause I feel like after that, I bullshit like still was on. Yeah, facts. Facts, facts. It's, so you it's can't bullshit say, I always gonna be on in this. In your city, in your whole town, like you say, city I, bullshit I was gonna be on, it's gonna be happening, some bullshit gonna happen. Like it's like that shit. Just gonna happen. It don't matter what you try to do to die. Just some dumb shit gonna happen. But, uh, shit. I don't really know how to explain this shit. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Doing what I was doing, but at the wrong place in the wrong time, though. So it's like, I don't know. That's, that's what came with the shit. That's what came with doing what I was doing. Mm. So when it happened, and it went the way it went and shit, and I end up, they end up letting me out and shit. I've been saying, like, Oh, um, bro, I'm done because I got two gun cases on my background. So if I get caught with another gun, I'm an armed bitch. So I'm going to have to do, uh, I think armed bitch like 7 to 14, right? 6 to 30. Armed bitch 6 to 30. So they can give me 6 to 30 years if I get caught with another gun. Mm. Oh, bro. So it's like I was supposed to bend. I already chilled out. So, so boom, then I get booked for the that dumbass armed robbery shit and the stolen car. So that's 21 to 45. And I don't think they were trying to charge me with the gun. They, I don't think they were trying to charge me with the gun. They were just trying to charge me with the robbery. So boom, I get out for that shit. I been knew it was like time to stop. But once I all knew I was smoked for that 21 to 45, and it was seven robberies. So imagine being 21, what's 21 45 times seven? We'll just do 21 times seven. Like 28. Well, not times seven? 21 times seven? Shit, I, don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm not about to do that on camera. That's what 21 I'm saying. plus seven is 28. Like. No, they got it though. So I was like, I've been, I've been, but I've been at my man made up though. What you say? What is it? 147. So I would have been probably doing, they probably weren't gonna give me the 147 years. They probably gonna run it together, like run the cases concurrent and shit. And I was gonna have to do something like 14, 19, 20 years for some dumbass armed robberies I ain't even do. And then, you know, for armed robbery, all it take is for a motherfucker just to come say it was you. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing it could take. So I could have got the luck of a random motherfucker just saying, yeah, I look like a, any random black motherfucker in Chicago. And I was at 19? Uh, No, I was 20. I was 20. I was 20. All right, that puts some things in perspective. You was 20. Mm -hmm. So I got to bring something. Karen, when did you do this Adam 22 interview? I was 21. So you was 20, facing all of that time. Mm -hmm. And you go on this white man platform mm -hmm. and just troll. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't be shit else to do but troll. Nigga, I can troll what? That's your life you tr you trolling with now. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, I got to... Explain it. I don't it. like getting into it. Explain no, it. No, it's not, though. I get into this segment, then I'm going to have to get into this segment, then break it down for this. No, nah, bro, I want to know. Like, all that. No, nah, that's dumb as hell. But it's like, just certain shit ain't going to go how people think it's going to go. Like, it's not... I, I get that. So I'm saying, why give a nigga the opportunity? Like, because these niggas don't give a fuck about us. I know that already. So why give a nigga opportunity to even Adam, like for look, Adam, no jumper. That's what they supposed to do. Make this shit look like this. So you can't get mad at a motherfucker for doing their job. I'm not mad at him. Yeah, fact. You Respectfully, fuck you mad that. At me. I, yeah, I'm, nigga, I, you come from Chicago. Right. I'm from Baltimore. Fact. You getting on this platform saying some shit like that, trolling or not. I'm like, bro, why are we even doing that? When mm -hmm. you know, when you know what you, what, like, bro, you got more to lose than. Everybody. All these other niggas. Yeah. And that's the that's where I'm coming from. Like, I ain't mean to get into like fuck these cameras and shit, bro. Like, you really like 
you really one of them niggas, bro. You come from Chicago. Like, we right. know what the fuck come from there. You get what I'm saying? We know what happens in there for real. Right. Like, these entertainment shit, like, that shit is one thing for likes. You get what I'm saying? So when I look at it, like, I ain't gonna lie. That shit, like, it got me feeling the way right now because I'm looking at it, like, that shit is, 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 is hurtful because, like, you really got a future. You feel me? And, like, I know, like, I understand you trolling. But, like, we see what's happening in, in jail. Like, right now, niggas is getting life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to, like, preach and shit like that. But it's, like, my mind, I'm like, what's going through your mind? Like, like what's, what's happening in that moment? Uh, you trying to get straight to the point. I'm going to give it to you like this. In Chicago, gang, you ain't never, you, it's, it happened before, but you ain't never heard of no motherfucker, oh, they got a Rico off rap. You never heard of no dumb shit like that. So if they decide that they want to start giving me a Rico, the first one, just make it make sense. I don't know how, but just make it make sense. So mm. I feel like I can do whatever the fuck I want to do, say whatever the fuck I want to say. Mm. I ain't never seen nobody get locked up for going on an interview. Well, I've seen it, but that's just what probably the time stamp they have. And they probably was meant to lock them up last week, but they went to go do the interview. So now when they come back to the rack, oh, they really on them. And now they just locked them up. No, that makes sense. And even like from the trolling shit, right? Like not get out my way, get out my own way on some old head shit, but... I understand, like, the marketing aspect of it. Like, that shit get clicks. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't even never thinking. I was just up there talking to him, just running my mouth. I was, it was, I was bored as hell in California. So it was like, I'm finna go do this interview with Adam. Mm. Ain't shit to do, just troll. What else I was supposed to get up there and do? Rap? Hell no. <laughs> you funny as shit. <laughs> we was talking and I was trolling with his ass. When you, I was really picking his brain. You, everything he said, he just blew it out. Everything I said, he blew it out of proportion. And it wasn't even really that much. And you see what it did on the internet. Yeah, it went Everybody thinking like, oh. Mm. So it's like. I seen somewhere you said, um, when it come to the young niggas, that's like coming after you. Y'all don't even let them be on no shit. Yeah, the ones in our hood. But they don't listen though. Like probably right now, they probably doing some stupid shit. But when we come back, they know that shit be over with. Like. When I be in Iraq, we be chilling in the studio. They don't be on no dumb shit. They just want to be around us for real. And then when they not around us, they want to do what they seen us do. So they think like, if we do this, we can go be around them. They going to bring us with them and shit. But it ain't even really that deep. I'm curious, what happened to you when you was coming up? What was the old heads doing with y'all? Uh, all of them, a lot of them went to jail. Literally, a lot of them went to jail. And now they just now getting out. So now they can't. They ain't, we ain't had nobody to tell us to do this or do that and da 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 And the ones that was out, they asked us goofies and fake us, and we realized that, so we started doing what the fuck we wanted to do. Mm. Yo, for the people that don't know, because I, I sometimes, like, because I do know I, like, I overlook the important things. You talk about Chicago, and you talk about the South Side. We seen Chief Keith, Dirt, and them come up. But we ain't really see no real representation of, like, the West, West Side. Side. If you had to com if you had to compare or explain the difference outside of like just to get money and grimy and shit like that, how would you explain it for the world to really see it for somebody that never really been? You can't really explain it. They just have to go because there's a lot of shit that go on in Chicago, like, and a lot of shit that go on in Chicago go on in different cities. It's just that motherfuckers just act like I don't know how to explain that shit, but that shit. <laughs> Ain't just nothing different from like your city. It's just probably at a higher level, for real. Hmm. For real. When you say high level, like what? Probably whatever y'all doing times 10. From my city? Shit, you from Baltimore? Hell yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I would say times 10. I ain't, no, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. The rack be going up. And not only, and we ain't about to have a like pissing contest of like the worst city. Because yeah. I, I, that shit is fucking ignorant. But what I will say is, I don't understand it, cause like Chicago, y'all got a lot of niggas that came out of Chicago successful. Like right. in Baltimore, it ain't a lot of rappers. I feel like it's hard because it's hard to like. Yeah, it's easy to blow out and blow up in Chicago. That's the easiest thing to do: be a rapper or some shit in Chicago. Why everybody it's already in Chicago, motherfuckers already got clout, so it only take like that little push from your city to get you out your city, and now you like you know. You know, this might be crazy. I know you won't appreciate this. I feel like Chicago, and you correct me if I'm wrong, Chicago rap scene kind of remind me of like New York rap scene, like drill scene. I feel like- Everybody beefing. 
Yeah, and I feel like it, it's easy to like kind of come up when you like you just diss a set, and then like you can even if you're not even if you're not beefing with another set, you could kind of like say that set, and, and then go up. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of motherfuckers in Chicago really know how to rap, so a lot of motherfuckers weren't really just off the back dissing like they first songs with disses. But that shit do help though when you diss a motherfucker. Though I ain't even gonna sit here and act like it don't. When you diss a motherfucker, that shit help. I'm pretty sure y'all niggas got niggas dissing y'all. Just you ain't have no. Stat, you don't even know these niggas. Hell yeah, that shit happened. I ain't gonna lie. It happened before when I won famous, like when we had hood cloud and shit. But it wasn't that bad as now. Like now niggas just be picking now. And then it's like we in Chicago, so we can't say y'all. Oh, we ain't finna get into it with them niggas. Now we just. Got to be in tour with them because they picking at us. So now we got to show y'all, like, why is y'all even doing this? I mean, or you don't have to get into it, right? No, we have to. Because you know better now. It's like, man, I know y'all niggas, man. We, y'all niggas, y'all trying to come up. Exactly. But it's like, now this what's going to get you trying to come up. Now your world's going down. Hmm. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> I'm going to just charge that the troll and still. Yeah, you just want to, should have just. You should have just did R and B music or something. Yo, you funny as shit, bro. But I mean, why, nigga? Like you came up. I want to make music. Like you are inspiration to these niggas. A lot of time, what they say, imitation is the next thing to flattery. Like is the the closest thing to flattery. Yeah. So like you came up. I want to be like Vaughn. Don't be like me, man. Not be like me. I'm a faker. I swear to God. What? <laughs> <laughs> I always tell people, you want your chain to look like mine, tell your jeweler you want moist tonight. That ain't moist tonight, my nigga. You gonna be turnt. That ain't moist tonight. I swear to God, if you get moist tonight, you gonna go in the club, you gonna get so many holes, nigga, I'm telling you. Moist tonight chain, tell your jeweler you want moist tonight. Or just go get up with my jeweler if you want your chain to look like mine. Moist tonight, water, diamonds. Yo, curious, when it comes to Chicago and the music, right? I asked that. Wait. I'm gonna ask. Huh? What you saying? Hell no! Nah. Oh, all right, all right. So, because right, I don't be doing it, the internet shit, bro. I don't the really, fact. I don't, I don't need to do that, bro. Now, yeah, I never heard that come on. The now, I was asking, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to ask a question. Yeah. So I was talking to Buka, right? Boom. And I asked him who had the uh, the the biggest influence when it come to Chicago, out of Chief Keith and Lord Dirt. He said Lord Dirt had nah. the bigger influence. That's Cap. That's <laughs> but that's his homie though, so I say my homie too. Is it even close though? Hell no, I ain't gonna lie. Hell no, fool, fucked up real people brains. I ain't gonna lie for. Did you see the video of the fool in college? He said, "If I see another motherfucker talking sweet about Chief Keith, I'm fuck." You ain't never seen that video. No, I don't think I. I might have. I, I might have. Now go ahead, keep going. You ain't never seen nobody do that about Lil Durk, boy. But Lil Durk turned for sure, but he, the impact that motherfuckers had on Chicago would never be shit like Chief Keith. Chief Keith basically started the drill shit in Chicago. He was one of the first motherfuckers to take off. How old was you when, when, when Chief Keith was coming up? Gang, Chief Keith, I think like macaroni time and all that shit came out in like 2010. I was seven years old. I was listening to that shit, or 2013. I'm gonna go to 2010 or 2013. Either way, I was seven or 10 years old, and I was listening to that shit. So you definitely say Chief Keith. Yeah. Who is this, who is somebody that 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 never got a chance to like really come out of Chicago but was like super big? Uh Lufo. Not Wes. Did somebody got killed or? No. I don't know what if folks just fell off the face of the earth. But you think he had like the probably like some of the biggest clout uh, over West. I'm not gonna lie, gang. It's a lot of motherfuckers in there. I don't even wanna get to saying they name because that's gonna that's gonna be like I'm making them look bad type shit. Cause they really. still around. Yes, it is. But, if they had that's you showing respect. Uh I ain't gonna lie. Seco Mob, y'all probably not gonna know what I'm talking about though. But Seco Mob, they had a lot, of, they got a Dirk feature, ASA Rocky feature. They had all type of shit back in the day. They had some hit songs. They could have been big as hell. So since you were seven, that's crazy. Since you were seven or ten, whatever, y'all was already on the map. Like y'all ain't never like was like starving to have niggas come out of Chicago from your from your experience. Hell no. It was motherfuckers from my hood trying to rap, but I ain't gonna lie, that shit never went nowhere. Never. So what you think went wrong for 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 your for your hood from your hood? That shit was weak. 
They wasn't good. I ain't gonna lie. That's it. That's it. That's all. I feel like hell no. You. We can listen to the shit after. I'm telling you, you would have been like, yeah, nah, this wasn't going. Especially back in the time what they was competing with, it wasn't it. And man, I don't even want to get into this. This wasn't it. If, you, if your music good, it's gonna work, on bro. Gray. So if I'm, if I'm thinking about it, right? So Chief Keep he started the the whole drill shit out of Chicago, right? Fuck. Chief Keep is still like going strong. I feel like since then, so many people has tried to go to the drill route, but we see so many people lose their lives in it. Is that shit even worth it? <laughs> this probably finna sound stupid, but if you get the money, then die. Hell yeah, it's worth it. But if not, if you just die for this shit, not worth it. But when I say get the money and die, I mean like the real bag, not just sign a deal and then die, but like you make sure your family over situation over situated off your situation, like you know, mm. so where your OG ain't gotta do shit and then then you die. I was curious, where does that come from? In Baltimore, we call it like Dukes, like Mom Dukes. My Dukes, yeah, yeah. That's, that's in the right too. What what is like OG? Because I ain't know, I ain't know who yeah, you was. Like, I had to listen a couple times. OG, that's like your mama. That's your OG. That's who you listen to. These niggas on the street, not my OG. My OG is my mama. That shit has been something since you was young. I yeah, never heard that's of the that. Old rack. Like my OG, I'm finna call my OG. I'm finna ask my OG. Damn, I never heard of that. That's crazy. That's cool. I fuck with that. Oh, yeah, we say like my dukes. Yeah, like, my dukes cool. Ma, we be like ma, my dukes. Yeah, we say my dukes. dukes. That's crazy. I feel like it's so many similarities when it comes to like Chicago and Boston. Baltimore, yeah. Yeah. But I only I've been to Chicago like one time. I was downtown. Only thing I saw was the motherfucking buildings was high as shit. And then people always say, Oh yeah, y'all got the best city. And we do got a good looking city. But as soon as you go 10, 20 minutes off that E Way from downtown. Oh, as is in the trenches. Wait, explain it to me then. Is downtown, so, is downtown, it's technically still the city though, right? Yeah. So how far is like the closest hood to downtown? Chief, keeping them hood close to downtown. Nah, we not saying who's the closest. I'm just giving them an example. Like how far is that? Polo G hood, literally closest to downtown. Like five, seven minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. But I'm trying to go off like what people would know like out of out of like the state, like Chief keeping them, Chief keeping them hood close to downtown. Twenty I say, minutes, twenty five minutes. It's crazy downtown. because da like Chicago is a beautiful city, bro. Thanks. Like you come into Chicago, all the skyscrapers, like it's probably one of the best cities I've been to. Just to go seven minutes out, you get your head knocked off. It's crazy. Like that's crazy. Like imagine the tourists. So you're not like I feel like niggas from the city can relate. We always want to go to a city, but I want to go to the hood. Yeah. So all I be trying to do, I be want to see what it's like. I be, I, but I didn't went to a couple hoods though. I've been in the Philly hood. I've been. Uh, what hood you been in? St. Louis, Philly, a hood. Uh, I ain't been in Baltimore yet. You gotta come to Boston. But I'm finna go on tour though. When I go to tour, I'm going to the city. I think I've been to Cali. I've been in the hood in Cali. California hood is different. Yeah, facts. I ain't gonna lie. I remember the first time I went to California. I couldn't understand it because like. We got projects. Like, I'm from the projects. So, like, all the hoods that I know is, like, projects. So, when you go to Cali, it's, like, real houses. Yeah. And I never understood how that could be the hood. Yeah. Until I got there. Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. I ain't gonna lie. I, my block got houses. But it's the hood, though. Like, my block look nice. Like, look nice. But, like, people. And we gotta remember, folks. They, they was nice places before. Yeah. They just got turned to the trenches. Like, oh, this odd shit. Like, where we be at. <laughs> I don't know when. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know. I don't know when that shit was nice. Well, like, well, yeah, right. You from the project, so this shit just been a slap <laughs> dead shit, building, right? Like yeah, just a slap dead building since nineteen ninety four and shit. Way before that, nineteen sixty and shit. Yeah. <laughs> your grandma, grandma, grandma was in your building before you. That's how that shit be. No uh, facts. I think I they had time for that, nigga. They blew down Murphy Homes in like ninety seven. Like you was born in what? Two thousand twenty. Two thousand three. I mean, I mean, I meant to say. I'm old, bro. I'm sorry. 2003, that's what I meant to say. 2003. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I'm fucking. Yo, so wait, wait. Let's get to some music real quick. Polo G was Facts. one of like your, your influences. Facts. He was like one of the first niggas that tried to sign you? No, nah, he just co-signed me. He didn't try to sign me. He just like first one to put me on his gram and shit. Y'all just dropped something Yesterday. a couple days ago? Yesterday. Yesterday. That's, that wasn't y'all first time dropping something Yeah, again. it was our first time dropping something together. Going back, if you can, right? Just some reflective moment. Mm -hmm. 
him co-signing you to you dropping a song with him and G Herbo, right? Yeah, fact. Reflect on that. How was that? Uh, my manager just asked me the other, the other day, talking about it's a big step in my career. It is, but I ain't gonna lie. It's like we didn't. I went through it already, so it's like we didn't have the song for like two, three weeks. So I probably didn't listen to the song a thousand times and finally let it settle in. Like, yeah, I got the song with dropping it and just giving that shit to my fans and shit. It felt good because I ain't gonna lie. And in, in the rap game right now, your fans never satisfied. Mm -hmm. I learned that like they never satisfied. I can drop a, I just drop a song with G Herbo and them and now next week if I drop some goofy shit they gonna be like man you uh, uh, nigga I just dropped with Polo G and her they want me to after this they gonna want me to drop a song with Kanye West yeah. and after Kanye West I'm gonna have to go do a do song some shit with Tupac with... <laughs> yeah. on they gonna want you standing next to Trump or some shit like, like, it's oh no facts so but they felt good though I bro. feel like you on a good run though good from my run. research bro I feel like the music that I've listened to. It's been some some heat. Fact. Like, I mean, the numbers is crazy. And I feel like, like, you got motion right now. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. And people don't be giving me my credit for. I did a lot of shit quick as hell. Like, I did a lot of shit quick as hell. What you mean they don't give you credit? They the people be hating on bro grade. Like, what you mean? I, I read my comments all the time for or just read comments like a like. I go, on, I be on Instagram all day for, and my phone all day. So I read everything. You just gotta read. Don't be one of them niggas, bro. I swear. That God. be y'all niggas that get some clout, bro. What? Let me tell you, bro. You got millions of niggas for rocking with, me. rocking with you. Facts. And you probably see five comments and niggas hating, like niggas be hating. No, this shit get deeper than deep. Like I be saying, like, like. Other shit, just like people comparing people together and da, 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 all shit like that, and they just be dick around. Like, like what? Cause dumb I'm shit. Like, you just have give me to one. See it. Give me one. Like, I'll be scrolling, and then it'll be like this five artists versus this five artists. Every time I look up, they put me number seven, number ten, all the way at the bottom of the list. I'm like, what the fuck is y'all? Y'all don't know what the fuck been happening. But I ain't been dropping for a long ass time though. So okay, so five like, like when you say five artists. What like we talking about, like the hottest young niggas coming yes. up? Yes. So give me your top five young niggas coming up then. All the young niggas that's coming up, I fuck with. No, 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 no. Give me your top five right now. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Chucky. Mm -hmm. Uh, Bloodhound Q50. Big Op. He ain't dropping no music in a minute. Uh, Faso, Screwly G. Damn. Yeah. I got to get hip. Yeah. I got to get hip. But, so you say your top five, right? Yeah. Is a nigga that you left off that's probably going crazy. That don't mean you hating on that nigga. Uh, that's I'm what thinking. I'm saying. Hold you on. ain't hating on the nigga. I'm thinking right now. It ain't no really, uh, it ain't no other motherfuckers turning up the city right now. Oh, you talking about just Chicago? Yeah. Facts. Okay, okay, okay. So you feel like you get left out of niggas... Talk when it comes to Chicago. Yeah. You think I'm talking about World Ride? Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Nah, I really just, I'm really fresh, still like a freshman in this shit. So I ain't expecting to be like with everybody, like her, Polo, and yeah. all the other rappers that drop. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about in Iraq. I feel like you probably one of the niggas that I've been hearing the most coming out of Chicago. Exactly. And then they'll still say some dumb shit, like put another motherfucker at the top, like, you know? That, that walked me into the next question. Do you feel like sometimes it be the comments that really entice this beef shit? Like this rap shit? Like, do you feel like a lot of the comments be, be influencing uh, hell that yeah. shit? If, if it get the right attention, like if it get the right attention, and then a nigga really get mad over the shit, or if it's really true and it really finally, finally getting glorified. Yeah. Because that's, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it be a lot. It don't be like. The niggas itself, yeah. it'd be a bunch of the outside shit. That's yeah. And niggas can ignore the outside shit. Niggas could live a happy. A happy yeah, life. but everybody in the right fuck with each other though. So it's like it'll never be none of that. You wanna sit up here and tell me that lie? No. I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about all the rappers that's coming up right okay. now. Okay. Okay. Like we all can do a song with each other. Oh, that's fine. How far has Chicago come in that aspect then? Not that far. What you mean? I ain't gonna lie, I feel like we this generation, the one who did it the most, like, and we all did songs with each other. So Everybody. that mean y'all came a long way then? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
when you when you can come back to Chicago and do that, like, what does that mean to the city? Like, for, cause for the people that don't know, like, right? I'm just doing media. Yeah. Like, you got niggas that cover the media. Yeah. They do this shit like uh, academics back war and shot, right? They cover it. They don't really understand. The niggas not really in it. So for you being in it, what does that mean to the city? Uh, shit. That is just new motherfuckers coming out and just it ain't. Just stuck in one neighborhood to where your ops can get famous at the same time as you and now y'all really the only thing motherfuckers focusing on. We got motherfuckers from the west side, south side, the burb, shit, Indiana, shit. Mm. Right. And they all coming up together for instead of just being one sided like the GDs and the BDs and shit like that, yeah. you know. So, no, that's hard. Yo, you you just got signed how long ago? I got signed around my birthday, April. So I've been signed for like five, six months. Six months. How you liking it so far? Oh, uh, it's decent. It's decent. It's fun. It was fun as hell in the beginning. Like as soon as I got signed, it was the most fun shit ever. Cause I uh I signed right before I dropped my out my uh first mixtape. So I did my press run and shit, and it was just like the best thing ever to me. I was in. I did went to like four different states, and I had a lot of money, so I just did whatever I wanted to do. So that so wait, they give you like a big advance? No. What happened? Bro. what happened? Ain't nothing happened. I just signed. So how, what they sign you for, nigga? Nothing. What? I'm trying to tell people, bro. I'm still broke, bro. I ain't saying. I ain't asking what's in your pocket, nigga. I'm so saying they, they had to give you. They had to give you an advance because you just said they ain't give you nothing. You say you won a lot, a lot of seeds, a lot of money. Yeah. The label ain't give you that money. No. That's bullshit. No, that's not, bro. Go read my deal, bro. Where is it? I got one of the best deals, bro. What is it? Uh, I got to do seven projects. I'm on my second one. Uh, I had a $7,500 event, $7,500 event, and I own 3% of my royalties. You said that's cap? What's my, what'd you say? She said that's cap? No, that's not cap. And nobody said that. Oh. Somebody, I thought somebody said he lied. None of them know nothing about my deal. <laughs> okay. This is my first time speaking about it. Oh, that's dope. So you down they like they don't own all your shit. No, nah, I own three percent. They own ninety-seven. Have you talked this? I've wait. Nah. Is that good? I don't know. I feel like you fuck yeah. with me now. No, nah, I got a good lawyer and everything. I'm turned. How how different is that compared to the average deal? I have no clue. Like I know you talking to some old hits, some OGs. The that's... average deal, they get a lot of money, then they just think like, oh, they set for life. And now they but they don't owe all, none of that shit. Now they spend, yeah, they owe it. Now they spend all their money, and now they don't got no money. And now their music going down, so now they owe their label money. Okay. Me, I only took seventy five hundred dollars. You're not trolling though, right? Not trolling. Oh no, that's hard. That's I recouped off my first song. Oh, that's hard. Where did you learn that from, though? Like, like get into the game, though. Honestly, though. No, get in the game about a deal. You no, got, like, 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 how did you? Cause a lot of niggas don't know that though. They go uh, in, uh, they get a lot of money, and they owe. I got, I got, I got. Uh, you asked me how I got signed? No, not even how you got signed, but like, how did you know to go into it with this? I need, I don't want to take too much. Oh, you, I'm just playing, bro. Bro, you, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga pissing me the fuck off, bro. Why are you fucking trolling me? I like a fucking. That's why I'm like, wait, what the fuck is he talking about? I'm confused. Like, yo, you pissing me the fuck off. AJ. Away from this deal. AJ. I don't want to know why he signed, nigga. Like, that's what everybody asks, nigga. AJ, that's worse than a 360. That's why I'm like, wait, 3%? Like, wait, what? You should know he's playing with you. That's why, bro, I don't know what the fuck. That's going to go viral. Fuck it. I'm like, yo, what? I'm like, what the fuck is he? That's why I'm confused, bro. But I'm trying not to pry too much. And the nigga is doing it. I'm like, I'm trying not to like, I'm trying not to make the nigga uncomfortable. I'm trying not to say like, boy, you dumb as hell, right? I'm trying not to, Like oh, in my bro. mind, I'm like, yo. Oh, bro, Because you know me. Like, you know I'm like, but I'm like, nah, I want to make this man uncomfortable in the oh, interview. Oh, bro, How the fuck you playing with me? Oh, bro, great. If a nigga start saying that shit. Oh, bro, great. Oh, bro, great. Oh, I'm put it in the fuck <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Uh, bro, I'm asking you some real shit, shit and you playing know. in my motherfucking face. Nah, though, I wouldn't even speak about like what, how much I got. And all nah, I don't care shit. how much yeah, you got. Like, I'm trying. Like, like, how did the situation happen? Uh, shit, I stayed consistent. I had a lot of labels hitting me up. 
off the jump. Like, out the, literally. I ain't gonna say my first song. I dropped three songs. I dropped Free Brick. Then I came back on deck. Boom. When I dropped Free Brick, I was buzzing in the city. Like, that bitch did like 200K in like two weeks off the muscle, though. Like, no IG. This is just in Chicago. Like, so this real views just all Chicago. Like, people were nine times out of ten, people were riding around listening to this shit for real. Mm-hmm. Then, boom, I came back on deck. And that just sent me right through the roof. Like, literally. Uh, that's when I got fame. So I started going crazy on TikTok. And all that shit, boom. What was the song that went, that went crazy on TikTok? On that. Okay, yeah, yeah. No. Mm. That's when everything happened. Everything happened fast there. The song hit a million before I was even signed. Ain't both words. So that big went up. Literally, like, every leg. Every, I, go, I was in the studio working on my tape. Every I stay in the studio from like four o'clock in the afternoon to like six o'clock in the morning. I'm leaving the studio late as hell. So now I'm going to sleep at like seven in the morning, waking up around like four. Now I'm waking up, checking my phone on Bro Grade. Every day I went up and woke sleep, it was at least two new t- labels that text me on Bro Grade. See what you did with me and me need a drink because you fucking playing too much. <laughs> fucking young niggas out here, man. <laughs> God damn, young niggas, man. <laughs> Yo, so wait, why did you even say you had to sign it then? I feel like in, like nowadays everybody doing an independent shit. You Are you seeing? You don't. You want coming? Oh, no. I chose. I chose. No, I signed with. No, I ain't accurate. Why okay. you? Why you choose? To sign? Yeah. The NFL, as some some niggas would say. I'm like. not gonna lie. This probably gonna be the worst reason ever. I always tell people, bro. I wasn't going to sign. I had a two-week. I was going to sign, but I wasn't going to sign at the time I signed. I had a two-week argument with my manager about me needing to sign in this week or next week. Only reason I really came to the conclusion to sign is because I always used to ask them, like, okay, if I sign, how long is it going to take for me to get my money? Da, 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 da. That shit take, like, oh, it's a process, but it should take it. Like, it would take a minute. They, like, well, da, 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 da. I signed March 6th. I got my money like three days before my birthday. Mm-hmm. I signed just so I could have the money on my birthday, my team for his birthday. That was mm-hmm. the only reason I signed. I mean, shit, that's a hell of a feeling. Yeah. Coming from, pictures coming from nothing. Was it what you expected? Well, yeah. Well, I brought out a Lam- Lamborghini. I had 100000 on me for the second time. I brought out 100 the first week, 100 the second, and my B-Day. Oh, now we get getting into some real numbers, man. This is 7500 bullshit. Yeah, I feel like seventy five hundred on my birthday outfit though. That was my birthday outfit. Who was he? I don't know what the, whatever that means. I was fresh as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but you went for your birthday outfit. That's just been seventy five hundred on. I had Sweeney, Sweeney, uh, Mary Jane. Nigga, that shit sound like it's seventy five hundred right there. I was leaning that bitch like thirteen hundred, and then Mary Jane, out of Mary store, you know them bitches ten seventy. And then my Ricks can get some sixteen hundred. That's like three thousand, but four thousand, four K. But that bit really seven five hundred. Whoa. This nigga, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> Plus the Lamborghini. So you 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 liking the, the, the NFL, like being being signed. I feel like a lot of niggas say they don't fuck with the industry. I was just gonna say I ain't been in it long enough to say, oh man, I don't fuck with this shit. These niggas fake. Everybody I done met really was cool as hell. And I done met some niggas who say they had two with these niggas, and then I really look at it and be like, I see why you were two with these niggas, because you corny, you bro, cool as hell. You're going to be like, I'm just getting up and down in this shit. How was, how was it being around the niggas that you actually, I mean, so to say, looked up to? Like, you did a music video with her, G. Her, bro. Oh, bro, great. The first time I was around Polo, I walked up on my stage. It was the first thing I said to him. I said, what up, big bro? We started laughing. That shit was funny as hell. Mm. Oh, bro, great. That shit was just funny as hell. Then basically I'm trolling them, I'm trolling, trolling you, I was trolling them. I was just being myself. And now everybody be, everybody, I be seeing shit on the comments, they be like, Vaughn, just the little brother, everybody rap with like, I'm um, this little, little brother. They all older to me anyway, so, mm-hmm. so yeah, why not? So it's like, we really like, we locked in, so I just be laughing, kicking. Who was somebody else you want to make music with them? I ain't gonna lie, I did, I did this shit with some motherfuckers, but I ain't gonna lie, I want to make some shit with you, Keith. Uh, I want to go on a different lane too. I want to do some crazy shit. Like, That's what I want to be. Like, I don't even want to forget who I know who I was from the state. 
Oh. I'm gonna say Mariah Carey told you. How would that sound? What would it be about? Yeah. What yeah, would like it be about? Yeah, Adele. I'll do some chill with Adele. So Adele would be fire. But what would the song be about with Mariah Carey? Christmas. I'm gonna show that ass. I'm gonna clocks. I'm gonna holes. <laughs> I'm gonna all type of shit for Christmas. Why you wanna go out for Christmas? Bro, you supposed to be away from this. Like, yo, I think that's another thing. I feel like because y'all get so much motion from this drill shit, y'all gotta keep making it. Fact. Cause look. I ain't gonna lie, and that's why I always been alright, cause ain't no nigga finna my op not finna. Yeah, that nigga got the money, he left the city, that nigga don't even be in the city, yo, ass, mine. I was right here, same spot. I got this shit, like, my video that blew me up, the Free Brick video, every time I shoot a video with a rapper, or they come to the Chicago, I take them to the spot, I shot the video at in my hood. Like, all my videos that I got with any other rapper, we shot a scene on my block. You ain't had, never have a situation where you just like, nah, I'm good, I don't wanna go there. Hell no. I would not say yes, but that's what we going. We got to go there. Do niggas like, be like, I feel like rappers, they say they, I feel like a lot of niggas be talking about this motherfucking come up shit, and I ain't never really see niggas really come up. Like, I don't believe it. No, I ain't gonna lie. I was fucked up. I really came up. You go look at my IG. That's what the first motherfuckers, first thing people say about me in Chicago. You fun to go. Oh, you think you're, uh, you damn right. Yeah, well, I said, what else you think? Of course, nigga. Now you get it. I got some money, and now you get it. You feel like the niggas, you seen the niggas change around you? Hell yeah, before you even really get your big ass bag, like the real bag niggas think you got, mm -hmm. they fuck, the, fuck it up before you even get it. Like, mm -hmm. you thinking I'm filthy rich. Mm -hmm. I'm just stepping my foot in the water. Slow down. Even like even before you get the bag, I feel like when you get motion, you get a lot of views, niggas associate views with, with money. Like, yo, you, you got it, bro. Man, I had a million views. I had like three million views. I had like $300 in my pocket on Go Gray, nigga. I... When I was getting fresh, my YouTube channel was still getting my YouTube check. The highest YouTube check I had got before I signed was like 1200 Why? Oh, because you was doing a lot of, uh, you probably weren't getting paid for the music yeah. because of the beats. Yeah, I was doing a lot of shit, but I was, they was coming in, though. But, but were you getting paid because the beats wasn't yours, right? No, I don't know why. My YouTube never did that. People always say that. Like, all oh, they demonetize my shit. My shit was always monetized. I don't know why. I'm like, my homie be asking me, like, man, boy, I gotta pay for this beat. I be like, hell no, I ain't never paid for no beat, none of that. Yo, you know what's another thing that's, that I fuck with about you, bro? Is the fact that you don't smoke or drink or, like, do yeah. no drugs for real. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I just, I was just on Instagram the other day with some motherfuckers. I was drinking laying. My DM went up, they said, nigga, you got to tell us you said you don't do no drugs. I was like, bro, chill, bro. I only be, do I be sitting lean, like, sometimes, though, but. I can stop that shit like that. You gotta do that shit, bro. That shit make you fat. I know I be getting big, though. I, that's because before I was rapping, though, like when I was rapping, I was drinking green lean, like a thing. Like it was never a day I could go without no green lean. In Chicago, you can get that shit. Real green lean, but like a whole pint. Wait, what's the difference between green and purple? It's yeah. like a big ass different white. That's like. Boom. Oh, from shit. That's like. Nigga, it's it. That's like K Swiss and YF41. Boy, like. like I had to put it in a girl tonight. So you was drinking the K Swift lean? Yeah. Why? Because you couldn't afford the. the yeah, air? You couldn't afford that for a while. We were K Swift. That shit gotta kill you fast, I feel like. Hell yeah, no. That's what they give you at the regular time. That's, I ain't gonna lie. I still think green lean take, tastes better than purple lean. Because it's so sweet with his like candy. So you stopped that shit from okay. good? I can. Like now though, I was just drinking something last night though. And you see, I'm right here regular. Like if a nigga, nigga, nigga you ain't regular. Nigga, telling people what really happened. What? Nigga, this interview was supposed to start at like one o'clock. Oh, I came late. <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm here regular. You gonna sit me and lie, nigga? I'm saying that says you look, fucked up. I'm saying I'm here regular. Like that's the way I'm moving, acting. Other niggas will wake up and need that shit as soon as they wake oh, up. Oh, you gotta take, like, it's really like real prescription drugs like that. Yeah, that's how niggas be. They'll wake up. They, that's how niggas be. who be hooked on shit. They act like they can't walk around without that shit. So, wait, if you wasn't drinking or smoking or doing no drugs, why are you just all of a sudden start doing it back now? But you ain't know. I'm telling you, I was drinking and leaning like a month ago. But you stopped at one point. Yeah, when I stopped drinking. Green lean, when I got my money, I stopped buying that shit. So you just stopped drinking green lean and started drinking purple lean? Yeah, but I stopped lean for a 
Gurry Lee, I stopped that shit. And then I was with my rapper on, he like, man, taste this shit. I'm like, man, hell no. I taste that shit. And a, uh, and a fanta, a, a pineapple fanta, that shit was nasty. I'm like, man, hell no, I ain't drinking that shit. If I drink lean, I'm gonna keep sipping green. And then my big brother, who saw him up in the cream soda. And I tasted it, and it killed like the whole taste of it, and it tasted good. So ever since then, I've been drinking the croaking. So who, who, who introduced you to that again? A rapper introduced to the, No, 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 no. The, the, my uh, big brother. The, 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 the new soda that you like? Cream soda. The cream soda? Oh, my big brother, Matt, man. So he got you hooked doing this shit now. And you got me hooked on shit. And you said you like it. Yeah, I like it. And you've been drinking that shit ever since. Not ever since. I don't want some days without that shit. I be waking up, that shit be... A line is $200, so if you're trying to get a fold, two, four, six, eight, that's $800. But you got it, fuck it. Exactly. Some days I'll be waking up. This thing is crazy. Look, it's, look, this is what I'm going to say. Some days I'll be waking up and be thinking like, I'm not going to spend $800 on that shit again. So yeah, You still do? If I get peer pressure, like, yeah, just going to have back. You know what it is. Because it'd be rolling. Oh, look, in this is what it really So it'd be, be your man. Oh, bro, look, 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 look. This is what it'd be right You're your man. We're going to stop talking about it. We're going to stop talking about it. No, no, no. This is what it'd be. On broke bread, we are get quiet. You know how you and your homies is just get quiet? Y'all trying to just figure out something to do with what I'll be like. Y'all trying to get off the lean? These niggas ain't got $800 to buy. You know they gonna say yeah. So it's like, I just wanted to do it anyway. But that'd be the whole killing part of it. I'd be like, y'all wanna get off the lean? They, yeah. So in uh, other words, your man's got you drinking lean again. Yeah. I feel like the old heads, this is what we look at. Like, the, the, the young niggas, y'all the new, like, drug addicts. Like, y'all the new crackheads. No. What's the if difference you pop then? Perks, if you pop young perks, niggas is popping perks. Say y'all not. I don't pop perks. You yet. might not. I never. But I feel like Lean got some perks in it. Okay, not Lean. No. Look, I'm trying to get, let me break it down. Break it down. It's a nigga like me. I can. Why? Wow, this is no. This is the good part. Yeah. It's a nigga oh. like me. It's a nigga like me. He can chill off the drug. Off lean. I don't even, I'm not even gonna say off the drug. It's a nigga that can chill off drugs. Then there's a nigga who get irritated off the drug. Then there's a nigga who get irritated and can't afford the drug they need to be on. Then it's just a nigga who's off the drug over heavily and he just needs to stop before he die. Because he all lean, hurts, and all type of shit. He leaning over, scratching, and can barely go off. Those are the type of folk niggas off drugs. So, some niggas... And which one is you? <laughs> shit, I'm the one that can stop him at any time. But I feel like every addict says that. <laughs> every <laughs> addict be like, look. I'm going to stop drinking lean. You won't catch me drinking lean no more. No, no, no. Hold up. No, no, no. Hold up. Because you live here. Yeah, yeah. Why well, do I work with it? All right. <laughs> we got right. it. We got it. Do it for 30 days straight. Bet. That shit easy. That Shake on easy. it. How we going to know? Uh, I'm going to go on tour. I can't be drinking lean anyway. He is lying. So he when you take him out, bro? Uh, October. Two days before I go on tour. With a map. With <laughs> this map shit on camera, bro. Talk about some 21 times 7. I dropped my album. My, well, that's my second mixtape. It's not going to be my album. My next one will be my album. So this is my second mixtape for my first year album. And, uh, it come out October 22nd. Man, I ain't going to lie. That bitch retarded. Turn up my burp up. My shit is retarded for like Fall go number one. Whoever wore Apple Music is killing it. Yeah. That's one. That's that shit. That's the Adam 22 shit. Man, Adam 23. That's that bullshit. He took himself. Look, I said what I said. So if I'm going number one, who was his name? You going to have the interview with him. The nigga that you know who running. Nah, this interview we have, he ain't going to want to get. He might want to come late to Now, nah, you know who run uh, Apple. Oh, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go smoke with blood. Nah, I'm going to be tweaking out. I don't think it's Mark. No, I think uh, the nigga that do the music, if I'm not mistaken, Apple Music, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Ebro. Ain't it? Don't Ebro got something to do with that? Huh? Yeah, yeah you bet. Oh. Yeah, you can. You need. You I don't need. know Ebro, but Ebro, man, we got to lock it in, brody. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Too, Fact, that's what I'm saying. We Be smart. Lock it in, bro. Be smart, nigga. Oh, bro, great. I ain't gonna lie, though. I got a lot of people on my shit. I got a lot of different shit on my album. My shit coming different. Everybody keeps saying, everybody kept saying I was rapping like, one way, but that was a lie. I still switch my shit up. So, my shit hard. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't be fucking with the new niggas' music, man. I listen, there's a couple songs I fuck with them. Like, that drill shit give me a headache. Yeah. Like, y'all niggas just be like. Overdoing it. Not overdoing it. Like, y'all niggas just be like. 
really just talk about killing niggas. Yeah, I'm, 30, I'm 33, bro. Like, I'm trying to be with my family. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, yeah, if you're trying to be with your family, don't listen to how I take them. <laughs> like, y'all just promoting the vibe. It's like, just yeah. go. So how you gonna ever, like, promote peace for real? Uh, you can't. Yes, you can. I can definitely promote peace. I just really have to think about it when think about it and sit down and really come up with a real plan that I believe in. Mm. I ain't just gonna get out here and say, oh, I can, I'm gonna spot you. Joke to stop, bro. Don't troll me, please. I'm not. Throw some real shit. Throw some real shit. How do we be a better, like, cause you're 21. How do we be a better representation for the niggas coming up? At, honestly, bro. Really just die them the right way. Don't send them off. Like, that's just, that's some, just don't send them off. Just really had them on the right shit. Like, cause niggas, the, uh, we really sending the older guys really be sending niggas off, like, to go do this dumb ass shit. Like, sending they dumb ass out the river, homie. And they so manipulative, they letting them send them out the river. So it's like, but me though, I just go crazy like, just with the kids, just lock in with the kids. Like, that's what I'm saying. You have to really think of with a plan and how to do this shit. You can't just say, oh, you gotta do this to do it. You say, um, the, uh, it's a video that went viral with T.I. and Boosie going on there. On the Islam? About having guns in the video. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even understand any about how I said it. Uh, you ain't never watched how you said anything else on no interview. Nah, cause they don't probably, come up here nah, with that cause, shit. Nah, cause I didn't talk to them before. I talked to, I did shook hands with both of his sons before. So I don't wanna shake his hands and then get on the internet and be like, oh, they else will get to the butt. Uh, from where they come from and the way they act, it's like, they don't need, they don't support you doing that. Like, I ain't gonna lie, my daddy was T.I.O. I'd just be telling people I'm rich as hell. I'd be in Bushy, you fried out. I'm not finna be putting no guns in the video or all that. We can never go off another motherfucking name and say, oh, this my daddy. Like, this niggas in Chicago who just straight, just out cause who, who they people with. Like, oh, don't play with him. That's da, 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 you know what I'm saying? So we, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I wish I could do that shit, but, Cause that shit, the, that's the easiest slate in the street. So these niggas is y'all dead. These ain't y'all uncles or your cousin. This is your dead. Like, so what's your point? That you got a show like this? How you come? Kind of, your daddy just did. Boosie is as a legend. He right. beat a body or some shit like that. Yeah, no, nah, Boosie is. That's definitely. your daddy. They know y'all. You come look at your daddy. They know you a gangster. Look at your daddy. You know. So so wait. So, cause somebody could say something similar to you. Yeah, that ain't, you don't got no bridge. Fathers and like that, but why? Why guns in your videos? What you mean? Cause this is what we come to show y'all. Like this is how we coming. They not coming like that. They coming from Bushy crib. I'm coming from my mama crib. A two bedroom apartment with my gun and my own. It's what we doing when we go outside. So it's for you, it's more. It's more like. It's more like explaining. This is. This is it's what us. I can't. Yeah. It's more like representation. It's not like promoting. It's like yo. This is. This is what we had to really get into. Right. I understand that. I understand that. But I guess I feel like sometimes it could just get misrepresented. Yeah, now though, but now though, like when I when our name got straight, but I ain't gonna say ah uh, when my name got straight, I stopped. I stopped putting it into my video or up and gun. Like that shit up and gun corny as hell. Like you start recording me then I know why up my gun that shit lying as hell. Mm. I stopped doing that shit. I just throw up a gang sign the phone. You know I got my phone. Yo, tell me the um, where you from? It's called L L Block. Yeah. L Block compared to like all the other places. What's the thinking? You got any hype? It's crazy, folks. It's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, mom look crazy as hell. You got to... all the crazy shit. What do I mean? It's... You can't explain it. That's crazy. No. You can explain it without going into the details. No, I was gonna say some real shit. Shit, I done plenty fast shit. Yeah. You know I'm gonna wear that shit. <laughs> Maybe. It clearly, cause that's the, clearly now, the shit that's out. My hood, we turned up, now burnt up, man. This on the game, we get your dumb ass out up. That's the best way I can explain it. Mm -hmm. Turned up, now burnt up, because we bad, we throw it down. I'm gonna let you get out of here. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I, hopefully, man, I, um, I do pray for niggas for real, man. Like, cause you got some motion, man. I, um, I want to continue to. to like, if I was on some big ass shit, you know what I would have said? Well, don't press me, nigga. Press my off, man. If I was done that time. You need to be. That's like when niggas be like, uh, 
be safe. Like, nothing yeah. nigga be dangerous. We say, yeah, we say that. We have to be dangerous, bro. And that shit is stupid as shit. Oh, it's not. And I wouldn't be me if I could, if I ain't tell you this. To be dangerous is to be a what? Nigga, you could be safe. Nigga, being safe is is making sure you good. Oh, it's not being safe. They gonna run over your Nigga, you crazy. Play. What? That's not true. Yes, that is. True. Nigga, being safe is not being aware. I. That's that young nigga shit. I was being safe or what? Because I know my surroundings. And if a nigga play. No. Being yes. safe is like I. Now I'm not finna go this certain step because I'm being safe. Now this nigga who moves dangerous, he finna over push over that extent because you want to play safe. I feel like the niggas that's gonna be in dangerous, the niggas that be fucking crashing out, they the crash dummies. Niggas being dangerous, go be dangerous. Crash outs is just a fucking goofy. Like go go look up the shit and niggas be saying niggas crashed out about and just look about how the the way the shit was mapped out. It's the ass wanted to go to jail like. Like the nigga that just, I think they, the nigga just got charged, but rest in peace. Dope. Was that a crash out? Uh, well, I don't want to say shit about that situation, but if Long Live Dolph, uh, if it was any any other way or any other people, no, it wouldn't have been a crash out. You just had to do it how you would do it. Niggas got money on their head in every city. Mm. And it, they just did it like some fucking goofies. I don't know, I feel like, yeah, I feel like, saying dangerous, you could be safe and still be a real nigga. When you get, when you get 30, mm-hmm. you gonna be being safe. I'm gonna be saying dangerous, when I be 30, it, when I be 30, when I be 30, at the rate I'm going right now, when I be 30, I won't even have to think about being safe, I'll be dangerous. You always, that's the fucked up thing from where we come from, you always gonna think, you always, it's always gonna be hate. That's the fucked up thing. 30, 30. Yeah, when you 30, bro, is you from Chicago. So no matter where you go, and I think that's what really make us men. I don't know. By the time I'm 30, a lot of people not going to be here. And I'm going to be somewhat chill. So. This sucks. We go in the right there. Yeah, get this in the gift. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you, bro. What's the name of the tape that's going out, bro? Turned up, not burnt up. And just only going to get your dumb ass signed up. That's the name of the tape? Turned up, not burnt up. Oh. Okay, I want to say this nigga is crazy, bro. The this on the game part. That's just the burnt up part. Nah, man, this is good, man. This is good, dog. My guy, Vaughn, off 1700, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out. Fuck off.